pasti. Here will do. Yeah. I'd like your help giving it a trial run tomorrow. Sounds like you're in You heard him. He hasn't worked out the details yet. We need a more practical solution with concrete steps to follow. Yeah. Are you saying you think he might actually I think it's possible, based on something I know about the war 500 years ago. Burkina didn't fall to the abyss. He was killed by the Mountain King in an episode of madness. In his final moments, Burkina made the fateful decision to not fight back, and instead pass his blood and power on to the Mountain King. Maybe he thought the Mountain King was stronger than him, and more valuable to the tribe. Or maybe it was just out of loyalty to his friend. Either way, I can believe the Turnfire was involved. Whether you think his sacrifice triggered it, or his fate was sealed from the moment he took the Molly Pope. How can you drop these truth? This is what I've gleaned from my many interactions with the Mountain King. His mind is so disordered, it took some time to piece it all together. The story Elder Trinidad told you was the more palatable version of events. The truth is the Mountain King's mind isn't just disordered. He is suffering and feels great shame. I believe... What? Then... Then what should we do? Should we... Mommy! We should help him move to a new home. It's the only practical solution. The Mountain King is a hero to my tribe. An object of worship, even. Ending his life would be like desecrating a statue. Still, he's been the cause of multiple disasters, and we can't afford to have any more. Ugh. Practical solutions hurt Paimon's brain. Can we follow our hearts next time? <laughs> then let's break for the day. Bhai Chris, bhai to kafi serious grind kar rahe, disturb nahi karte. Yehi se unko prem patra bhej.